welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is actually my second vlog I've ever done. My first one I uploaded when I was 30 and I've been taking some time out to sort of do a bit of soul searching. I think I have explained it on my Instagram but now I'm back and I'm ready to share my wonderful little world with you all. So it is Tuesday the 19th of April and today we are going to Dubai, me and the girls, for my best friend Mia's hen party which has been a long time coming and I think all you Covid brides will really appreciate what my friend's been going through having to postpone her wedding and her hen and everything else so she's really excited as are we to finally be going to Dubai to celebrate her becoming Mrs Roberts the end of this year. There is a reason why we are going so far away for a hen. Um, the maid of honour, Jess, who's also one of our closest friends, lives in Dubai. And because her holidays out there are different to ours, she wouldn't be able to come anywhere else really. So we have decided to make the trip there so that she can be a part of the hen with us all. So I've got a bit of a journey ahead of me today. Uh, my train is in around 40 minutes and that train goes to London Euston from Manchester. And then from London Euston, I need to get to London Paddington. And then from London Paddington, I can get to Gatwick. So this should be interesting. I'm not somebody that ever fears traveling. I figure everything out eventually. So I'm fine with the traveling side of it. The only problem is there is a time limit, obviously, because I have a plane to catch. So all my trains being on time are really important. Otherwise, I'm gonna completely miss my flight and not be going to Dubai which would be tragic for everyone <laughs> but yes it's going to be chaotic and it's kind of the theme of my week I think because this whole week getting ready to go has been chaotic to say the least so as it's Tuesday the 19th obviously we've just had Easter weekend which means that parcel deliveries are oh, all over the place and they have ruined my entire weekend so Saturday, I can laugh about it now, but Saturday was disastrous. So I woke up in the morning and I thought, I'm going to be proactive with these parcels. I rang Parcel Force and DHL and just asked, could I come and get the parcels? Because I was having emails saying they weren't arriving till today, which obviously is useless to me when I'm going this morning. I rang them and they were going, absolutely no way, you're not gonna be able to get them. And I thought, screw this, I'm driving to these depots just to beg with them to give me my parcels. They're mine, I've paid for them, I'll take a passport, I'll take a utility bill and just beg them. So I went to Parcel Force really early Saturday morning as soon as I knew they were open. And big shout out to Jason. He gave me my parcel. He did say he wasn't allowed, but I was like, please, please, I will love you forever. Please just give me my parcel. And he did, thankfully. It was quite funny actually, because he asked me if I was going to Dubai with the girls or my boyfriend. And, well, a boyfriend. And I said, oh, the girls. And I generally think even if I wasn't going with the girls, I would have still said that I was because anything to get that parcel on that day. <laughs> so the next place I needed to go for a parcel, and it was quite an important parcel because we do have themed nights on this hen, and one of the dresses that I needed was in the DHL parcel. So we have three DHL depots in Manchester. So there was one opposite parcel for, so I went there first. The gentleman was lovely, and he would have given it to me if it was there but it wasn't. So I had to go to the second DHL depot and it wasn't there. It was then going to be in the Manchester airport one. Hindsight's a wonderful thing because obviously the parcel was coming from Australia. So I should have known that if it was gonna be anywhere, it would have been in Manchester airport depot. That was just silly. But as I was leaving the second depot to get to Manchester airport depot, I used the pedestrian exit and the whole thing was locked. Therefore, I was trapped in like, a DHL prison. That's the only way I can describe it. There were just metal bars surrounding me and I couldn't get back through and I couldn't get out. So I was just stuck. It was like a ghost town. Apparently Saturdays they're really quiet so it was like a ghost town. There were no workers, no customers, no deliveries, nothing. So I'm stood there and I'm quite calm for about five minutes and then I start to panic. And you know like on Titanic at the end where they're out on the boats trying to find survivors That's how I sounded. I was like hello. Is anyone out there? Can you help me please help? 
literally felt like I was on Titanic. Luckily, one of the DHL employees ordered a takeout for his lunch, so when the delivery man arrived, he came to give me the lunch thinking it was mine. And I'm in tears at this point, thinking I'm gonna have to phone the police, my battery's low, I don't really know what I'm going to do, who am I gonna call? Yeah, it was just not nice. I'll put up the video now if you actually, so I sent a video to the girls that I'm going away with today. Just a bit frantic about what's going on, so I'll put that up. Please don't laugh at me. Okay, girls, so this isn't funny, because I'm crying, but I'm trying to leave the HR. I'm bloody stuck, so a man's going to have to come and get me out. So basically, I can't get out that way, and that's all locked, and this doesn't move back, and my car is over there, so a guy is going to have to come and get this open for me. It is funny, we are going to laugh about this. Dozy Rosie does it again. Um, anyway, so I did get out. Drove to Manchester Airport Depot and the manager had left half an hour before and there was nothing they could do to give me my parcel. So I'm thinking, oh, if only I hadn't got locked in that DHL, I might have had a chance. So I just thought, you have to just forget about it now. Um, I did have a lot of tears, a lot of drama, but that parcel was obviously not meant to be. So I went for lunch with my family for Easter and as I'm sat there eating my lunch, I get an email. DHL have tried to deliver your parcel and failed to do so and they've taken it back to the depot. <laughs> Honestly, I was in tears again over my club sandwich, just like, what is going on? What is my day? Cutting the story short, I mean, it wasn't short, but we'll cut it there. The parcel did arrive yesterday whilst I was in the traffic centre and I made sure that I wrote on there to leave with an Ava or a safe place, just anywhere. Just do not take it back to a depot because I will not be going back there ever again. Anyways, enough talking because I really need to get my bum in gear and go and meet the hen and my friends to get this trip started. And of course, I'm taking you with me. Oh, the dog's coming to see you. You're gonna come and say goodbye to everyone because you're not coming with me. Here he is, born in mouth. He never really leaves his born alone. Um, this is Yolo, everyone, my little dog. So yeah, Yolo's obviously not coming with me, are you? You're not coming to Dubai. No, should we say bye to everyone? Say we'll see you soon. Take that born out. I feel like a mother, you know, like get your dummy out, like get your born out to your mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Oh, it's gone. There he is. There's his pretty face. I know. I'd say goodbye to everyone. Bye. Make a list. <laughs> Dear Mrs. Roberts to be, did you really think you were going to get away with a t-shirt? We thought long and hard about what to dress you up as. Um, to strut around the airport. We jotted on many ideas. We had all different pros and cons. We finally matched the unanimous decision. We hope you love wearing it as much as you love doing it. <laughs> Where did you get this from? <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yesterday but it was such a long trip and it was quite stressful so I just didn't really film as much as I probably should have or didn't speak to you anyways as much as I should have but yeah I'm back and we're on the first day so we've got lots of exciting stuff planned me and the hen doesn't know everything that we're doing so every day we've got her an envelope and we're surprising her with all the things we've planned so today is Cove Beach which is rosé all day we paid for Cove Beach about 30 odd pounds each um, it wasn't much at all and with that we get free drink all day so like unlimited rosé, unlimited gin, sangria, um, and you also get a food platter with that as well. And then we're going to Jovi for food to watch the fountain show. Um, I love a meal and I absolutely love the fountains in Dubai, they're probably like my favourite part. So I'm really excited for that. And then after Jovi we go to Lucky Voice Karaoke. And for Lucky Voice Karaoke I think it's about £70 per person and with that you get a booth, you get unlimited alcohol and good alcohol as well like proper proper bottles of spirits and you also get food so pizzas, nachos, um, nibbly bits. So that's really good value for money as well so I'm really looking forward to that and um, we need a good dance so I feel like we'll have lots and lots of fun tonight so yeah I'm really really excited. <laughs> everyone, we're in Dubai officially, um, we've just got to Cold Beach and we're going for the rosé all day which means this vlog could get very slurry and blurry by the end of today um, but the weather's boiling and yeah, I'm excited to be here. Also guys, this was like an absolute bargain, um, it was like £30 each or something and then we get free rosé a platter each so yeah definitely recommend the rosé all day in Cold Beach especially if you're coming with the girls. Um, even if you come with your boyfriend, I mean, the vibe's really chilled. It's such a lovely place. Um, I need to get some good content here today because it's beautiful, so don't want it to go to waste. But yeah, so far, so good. Just having a platter that comes with the brunch. Yum, 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 yum. I'm starving, by the way. Too much rosé and not enough food. I'm standing in front of big things. <laughs> big things scare her, thing? apparently. He's got a name for it. Look how scary it is, guys. <laughs> <laughs>
morning. However, I'm in Dubai, so good afternoon. It is a later start today. Lucky voice last night was so much fun. We didn't get in until early hours in the morning. I think we were only meant to have the booth for three hours and I'm sure we were in there for like seven. We definitely stayed in there until they kicked us out anyways. It was just so much fun to have the booth to ourselves where we could just be completely crazy without anyone judging and yeah we just danced and sang all night and it was fab and honestly my friend alex is just oh she's brilliant wherever we go whatever we do she will always have us in tears and i'm sure you can see that in this video she just had us literally crying all night with laughter she's fab but anyways, it is Thursday, which means it's our second full day in Dubai and Mia has just found out that we're going on a private yacht this afternoon. So we're all getting ready to go there. I absolutely love getting a yacht. So whenever I go away, I just feel like you can see the place from so many different angles. It's so relaxing. You just feel like you're on holidays and you get a yacht. So I'm really looking forward to today. And then after the yacht, we're not actually going anywhere tonight. We are watching the sunset on the yacht and obviously we will be drinking all day today. So... We are having a pyjama party and probably a Chinese, something like that. And yeah, having a bit of an early night as the rest of the week is going to be just as chaotic as it started. So, and I don't know about you, but I just can't do it the same anymore. I've already shattered on day two. My age is definitely showing through and I'm never the best drinker anyway. I never do shots unless they're like apple sours or something really childish. And I only drink Prosecco and wine. I don't touch spirits and I haven't done since university. University killed me off with shots and spirits. So now I'm strictly wine and Prosecco. So this is a test. This is a test. I feel like I'm doing okay. I'm still alive. That's the main thing. But yeah, let's get ready for this yacht. We're just on our way to a private yacht for Mia. She's got a bright hat. She's in gold, we are in white. All the girls are back there, they're dropping everything. Here they are. Happy souls. <laughs>
hope you're all well. It is Saturday here in Dubai, which means it is our final day here. I actually can't believe we made it. I don't know if I'm sad or relieved to be going home. I'm sad to be leaving the girls and obviously I'm gonna miss them. However, I am relieved that I've not got a drink for another full day and I could just sleep and eat my favorite foods when I go back and have a cuddle on the sofa with my boys. I am excited for that. So today is gonna to be a lot. So we're doing Candy Pans brunch, which is meant to be amazing, but chaos is meant to be a crazy, crazy day. But I'm really looking forward to that. So we're up and we're ready. Just gotta do a few final bits and then I'm ready to go. But after candy pans, we're then going to Jess's apartment for a few hours until we have to go to the airport because our flight is at half two tomorrow morning. Um, obviously then we travel through the night and we land, I think, about 7 a.m. UK time. And then obviously I have to get a load of trains back to Manchester and I think I'm just gonna sleep for days. So if I get home and you don't actually hear from me, that is why I am shattered. <laughs> but yeah, it's the final day, so we're gonna go big and we're not gonna care about the flight or anything else. And we're gonna definitely, definitely leave Dubai and leave Mia's hen with a bang. So let's do this. Wise, spirit, and <laughs> 